welcome students uh, today we are going to see e vehicles this is dr s rekha associate professor chemistry department rmd ec chennai let us get into the topic e vehicles today if you consider cities they are threatened by air pollution this air pollution is basically caused by transport and uh, Uh, they let out tailpipe uh, pollutant like carbon monoxide nox sulfur dioxide etc to the environment and you know 28 percentage of the air pollutant is contributed only from transport so it is time to switch over from uh, fossil fuel to uh, battery technology so government has taken initiative for e vehicle let us see what are the advantages of this e vehicle zero emission what is that zero emission the combustion product like carbon dioxide nit nitrogen oxide is eliminated from vehicle the chemical reaction in battery does not lead to any emission of gases yes in fossil fuel the greenhouse gas carbon dioxide is added to the atmosphere okay but if you go with battery technology this is been 100% removed from the atmosphere simple engine design so engine design is simple as neither need to need a cooling circuit nor for incorporation of clutch gear shift everything elements to reduce to engine noise okay so the engine design will be as simple as it could be increase in reliability simple in engine technology hence fewer breakdowns maintenance cost maintenance cost much lower than uh, for a, uh, e vehicle than the conventional vehicle only maintenance required is battery we need to maintain battery comfort of traveling yes due to absence of noise vibrations a smooth travel we can enjoy efficiency uh, e vehicle fed by renewable energy sh uh, show and higher overall efficiency up to 70 percentage okay but e vehicle fed by natural gas power plant show that overall well to wheel efficiency range from 13 percentage to 31 percentage what are the challenges behind e vehicle and the area of improvement required right so driving range is limited from 200 to 350 km with full charge if you take uh, start a car with full charge it can travel up to 200 to 350 km but some uh, tesla model s has shown a driving range of greater than equal to 500 km but everywhere it is around 200 to 350 full charging the battery pack can take 4 to 8 hours once it is discharged we need to recharge it right so as we fill the fuel tank it takes a uh, few minutes to fill the fuel tank but when it comes to battery charging we need to charge it minimum for 4 to 8 hours right we have fast charging technology fast charging technology you can charge up to 80 percentage in 30 minutes that has been found out for example tes uh, tesla supercharger can charge model s up to 50 percentage in 20 minutes and in 30 minutes it can charge 80 percentage in 1 hour to 1 uh, hour 30 minutes it makes it full charge large battery packs are expensive and are heavy 200 kg and take up considerable vehicle space that is another drawback the heaviness of the battery and as well as the space occupied by the battery these are the challenges types of e vehicle so we have bev battery electric vehicle a completely a vehicle operated by battery right so here we don't want any extra complicated things here we have just electric motor regenerative braking and battery that's it so we need to recharge the battery and we can drive it it is completely battery operated car okay this is one type but here the limitation is we can travel up to 200 to 250 kilometers more than that it is difficult we need to break for 4 to 6 hours to recharge the battery 
and second type plug in hybrid electric vehicle right what is it about here we have the conventional uh, ic engine as well as the battery okay so uh, a shorter distance I mean we can travel with the battery and when that battery is uh, gone then we can make use of this fuel tank oil and with respect to that we can travel so here we want both the engine ic engine is also required electric motor engine is required but we can extend the journey level okay so plug in means uh, battery can be recharged by plugging in to the external source and we can do it okay so fuel tank we have where petrol you can fill it up so this is plug in hybrid electric vehicle then we have just electric uh, hybrid electric vehicle here we have a uh, fuel tank electric motor everything is same but here the battery is recharged by from the wheel okay when uh, the car is running with fuel tank then it get a battery gets automatically recharged we can, can need not recharge outside so that provision is not given so it gets automatically recharged with this so here we have to compulsorily go with uh, half a journey with battery half a journey with oil so when it is working with oil it will regenerate i mean uh, it will uh, recharge the battery then fuel cell electric vehicle here we use instead of uh, normal battery uh, conventional battery we use fuel cell where we have hydrogen uh, gas and oxygen gas which is burnt to give water just it gives a product of water zero pollution in fuel cell electric vehicle and here we can have a continuous discharge it is just like a bev battery electric vehicle but here the additional part is fuel cell where we need to have hydrogen and oxygen tank and here also we have extended journey time because it is the cylinder okay hydrogen gas and oxygen gas and it is zero pollution uh, vehicle right because our product is just the water extended range of electric vehicle er evs what is it here we have it is similar to bev battery electric vehicle where we have additional fuel tank where we run this fuel tank a small combustion engine to recharge the battery but it is not wheeled okay we cannot use that oil for running the vehicle but for quick recharging the battery we can make use of this oil okay we make use of this oil for just recharging the battery but not for running the vehicle as it get recharged and we can have a extended travel okay so these are the different kinds of electric vehicle Uh, proposed in the future near future you can have it i think so you the generation who are going to drive with this e vehicles thank you students let us meet in yet another topic thank you once again